Shalom, when I start off souls by giving no praise to Hell, by Shem Yah, Shah, by Shem Ka, Kudash. The blown is the post of great most and honest, you brothers doing the work, the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh. His real name is Yahweh. The son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, you pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah meaning in, Her meaning the Sham meaning names, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. So quick one, um, is the term, uh, what's understood does not need to be explained. Uh, that I think about that, um, f I think about this phrase uh, on and off just for a couple of weeks. It's, it's something uh, just quite, um, you know, like, you know, when someone asks you a dumb question, you're just like, oh man, hey, wait, what's, under what's understood does not need to be explained. So I looked it up. I was like, yo, what, what does that actually mean? Um, right. And then I thought, you know, about the, I thought about, you know, certain things in the precepts, right? So the, the what it means is the basic purpose of explanation is understanding. If something is really understood, an explanation is redundant and unnecessary. And I thought about the precepts where you have certain instances where there is certain terminology that in those times it was understood, right? You know, uh, clouds or, uh, you know, the, the, the topic of this video, salvation. Right, we know that salvation is of the Jews. Right, salvation is of is of Israel. The Lord was only dealing with Israel, and only ever has been dealing with Israel. Right, so when certain things were said, right, they were said with understanding. Just like how if I'm, you know, writing to you know to 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 to, to school to a, let's say to, a, uh, you know, a workplace or a school or whatever. Right, and I'm you know. Um, let me let the point is a congregation, right? If I'm writing to a congregation and then I say, you know, I'm going to give you all a million pounds or whatever. Um, if a guy outside the congregation picks up that letter, he can't be like, yo, but wait, I, I'm also of that million pounds. I also need that million pounds. I'm like, look, I'm, that letter wasn't written to you, but I've used the word all, right? Once again, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Right, but nowadays apparently it does. Right, so this is John three sixteen it says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only good and Son. Right, that whoso believe, believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." Right, so you know when when Yahweh Shai said this, it was understood he was who he was referring to. Once again, salvation is of the Jews. Right, salvation is of Israel. Right, the laws were given to Israel. Right. These heathen, these heathen nations are commonly referred to as our enemies. We'll just jump to that, segue to that real quick. Just take a quick detour. All right, it says Psalms, the 83rd chapter. It says, um, uh, Psalms 83 and 1, Keep not thy silence, O God, O Most High. Um, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O, 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 o Most High. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. Right, so it says all of the enemies, right? Um, uh, just read through it real quick. So for they, they have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance for they've consulted together with one consent they're confederate against thee. Right, so all these heathen enemy, heathen nations, they're, you know, they, you know, they're our enemies and they've consulted together, uh, 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 you know, they're confederate one with, with, with each other against us, right? And then he starts to list them. It's the tabernacles of Eden, right? So called white people and the Ishmaelites, so called Arabs of Moab, so called Chinese and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines and the inhabitants of Tyre. Right? So, you know, we have enemies. So these nations have somehow gone from being enemies to friends? No, no, sir. No, that's not what happened. Right? The we in this world, in this in this realm that we're living in, right, the understanding just got discontinued. Right, because Israel ultimately got this can we be discontinued from our heritage, right? We you know we didn't know when when we was hearing Amalek, you know, our, our growing up hearing you know them small hats were the were the real ones, right? We just accepted it. Right? Had we known who we really were, would have been like, yo, oh, who this, <laughs> right? Um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, so but yeah, when you then look into words like the world, right, cosmos, right, an apt and harmonious arrangement of constitution or the government, right? This is basically was talking about the world of Israel, right? Because once again, Yahweh Shai didn't come here and die for, for no bloody Edomite, man, right? 
Yahusha died for the sins of the nation of Israel, right? And who, 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 who uh, would you call it? Who made the covenant with the, with 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 um, the Most High, right? Who can, in truth, really sin? And that's the Israelites. Now these Edomites have come and taken on the which you call it, the scriptures. Right, but that's why it says in Psalm fifty and sixteen, "What is thou to do with my statutes, that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth?" Right, so these, although they have tried to, you know, take take on the laws of Yahbashim Al Shah, ultimately they what have they done with it? Nothing but wickedness, and and as such will be judged for it. Right, in the same breath they have gone and, uh, you know, uh, painted over the image of Yahbashim Al Shai, well, well, um, of Yahweh Shai. Right, paint over the image of Yahusha made him look like he's you know he's a so called white man and done and ultimately done the same to 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 Yahweh, right? You know whenever you see these cartoons or whatever or you see the Sistine Chapel, right? The Most High, you know, looking like a so called white man when actually the scriptures say otherwise, right? So that's what it says in Job nine twenty four what it says also First Maccabees three forty eight, right? So this is this is one example of. You know what is understood uh, doesn't need to be explained, right? Um, Romans three twenty nine, right? Is he God? Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yea, also of the Gentiles also, right? It's once again an unlearned individual's like, yo, hey, okay, you know, so you know, Gentiles, right? You know, just all of the other heathen nations can make, but that's not the case, right? Paul. You know the the people who Paul wrote that letter to knew what he was who he was referring to, right? Romans two fourteen also for when the gen for when the Gentiles which and this is a clue right for when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law these having not the law are law unto themselves, right? And you know you look at how for instance on the west coast, uh, um I believe it's certain Archean from the west coast here. You know, who on the eighth day, they were circumcised. Their people didn't know, right? Their people, people didn't necessarily know that there was, or they just knew it was something that they had to be, had to be done, right? Because in their spirit, right, that was something that, 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 that just happened, right? They're just like, well, this is what we do, and On the eighth day, we, you know, we circumcised men. And then when those Akin came into this truth, they're like, oh, is that why that happened? Right? So... Uh, you know, you know, the, the, this this is an example of that, and the key here as well, right? We're speaking about so-called Gentiles, but we're also saying, which I, you know, about about the law, right? And once again, who was the law given to? The Israelites, right? Um, and then Acts thirteen forty seven, right? It's for so hath the law commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth, right? Once again, a key. Right, who can be saved? You know, the Lord isn't coming here to save no, 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 no Edomites, man. Right, the covenant was made between Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right, and that's it. And their descendants, right, these other heathen nations have have no part in that. Right, and when once again, when these things were written, they were written with that understanding in mind. Right, um, it says, and when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the, of, of, of the Lord. Right, whereas his, these times the scripture says of the Edomites, none of the wicked shall understand. Right, so how 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 can and and a hey, when part of the gospel is that pursuant to Obadiah one eighteen is that the Edomites are going to be put into captivity and then what and then eventually done away with. So then, how can an Edomite hear this and be glad? Right, it sounds like a bit of a contradiction. It says and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Right, and ordained when? Ordained before the foundation of the earth. Okay, because this is a story that the Lord has set up from before the foundation of the earth. And this is just one of the few examples um, when, uh, you know, things that or in the ancient world, certain things were just understood and didn't need to be explained. But in this time around, they are this way for them to be a stumbling block, right, for, for, for people that are here today. Where they're just a stumbling block, right? It's like how in certain precepts it writes uh, the, the, the scriptures say clouds, for example, right? In the ancient world, this was understood. Reincarnation is an is another example. You've got the account when um, 
uh, with, with, with the blind man, right? And then um, the disciples asked you, how or shall I said, who sinned, right? This man or his parents, right? Basically saying him or him in his last life. And then how shall I said, you know, basically neither. He's just this way for me to, you know, to come and, 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 and to basically glorify, you know, ultimately glorify Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Because once again, reincarnation, that was just something that was understood, Right, the natural order of things, and you know, man being over a woman, that was all things that were just understood, right? But in this, in this world, once again, these things, we, we, you know, we have become detached from these things, right? But when we come into this truth, we're becoming reattached, and these things start to make sense. But for those whose eyes are are, are closed, right? From whom this gospel is hidden, pursuant to Second Corinthians four and three. They're just not going to get it. And then we have to explain it to them. And those that are of the elect will, 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 will transition from basically being a, uh, I don't believe this, to, oh, yeah, actually, this makes sense. So just a quick one. As always, Lord's will does edify. Till next time we say, Shalom.